Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, well, come to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today is Monday, September the 21st, 2020. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Scott Ross, uh, Kim Baston, and Sally Taylor. So, without further ado, here's a birthday song for the three of you. I said, hey, Kim. Hey, Scott. And hey, hey Sally. I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I must say. You know, you're one more year older today. So, happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey, Kim. Hey, Sally. And Scott. I heard it's your birthday today. You made another trip around the sun today. Oh, hey, you have a wonderful day. And happy birthday to you, I say. And many more. You ta da cha cha cha. All them birthday wishes are going out to y'all. Hopefully, you're having some birthday cakes that are quite delicious. Anyway, hey, got some uh, Facebook uh, shout-outs, uh, some Shensho like shout-outs. That's right, Shensho like shout-outs going out to Martin Kelly, Tina Cresciolti Ashbrook, Steve Clary, Leonie uh, Pedereza Fernandez, Whitney Doe, and Shenandoah Ray Bailey Sr. And then, uh, thank you all for keeping me company, keeping me tuned in, and spreading the show tina <laughs> all right spreading that show i'm not gonna yell at you today whitney my teeth feel much better today i'm still gumming at my food but no i was joking you knew that right i know you did because well i've been in your it's i've been okay i've been in the, this girl has had her fingers in my mouth more than anybody i know and on top of that she halfway understands what I'm talking about when I've got when she's got her fingers in my mouth. And if she don't, Phyllis is right there to fill us in. So there you go. Anyway, let's see what else was I gonna say. Oh yeah, by the way. Um thank you for the uh Facebook poke. Uh uh that's right. Facebook pokes are from Amanda Sue Little that's right, Amanda Sue Little. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And, uh, well, well, I was just checking on those. Just to make sure that that's who, all the who that did the do. And it is, it is. The only one that poked me was Amanda Sue Little. Which is okay, because, uh, I'm now officially poking you back. How about some St. Charles weather forecast, okay? How about it? Hey, we got clear to partly cloudy skies right now. Lows are going to creep on down to 54 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be light and variable. That's south to southeast at 5 miles per hour. Right now, temperature's like 76 out there. And it looks clear, but it's uh, cold to me. Anyway, Tuesday, September the 22nd. Considerable cloudiness. Highs around 71 degrees, or sorry, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds light and variable south to southeast at 5 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy skies overnight with 54 uh, degree temperatures. Winds are going to be light and variable south at 2 miles per hour. And then winds a day. Winds a day. September. September the 23rd, mostly cloudy skies, highs around 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be a light and variable south at 4 miles per hour. Cloudy early in the morning with partial, I mean, sorry, car, cloudy early in the evening with partial clearing uh, expected later on. Lows around 53 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be light and variable. And then mostly sunny skies for... Thursday, September the 24th. Highs around 79 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be light and variable at south to southwest at about 5 miles per hour. Clear to lo uh, clear skies overnight with lows dipping down to 55, mile, uh, 55 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be southeast at about 3 miles per hour. Light and variable again. A mainly sunny sky on uh, Friday, September the 25th. Highs are going to jump all the way back up to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which is my comfort level. More, t more so to my comfort level. 
Winds are going to be south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then clear skies overnight with lows around 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be light and variable strictly out of the south at 4 miles per hour. Meaning winds coming out of the south means it's going to get a little bit warmer. Which is a good thing. Saturday, September the 26th. Sunny skies. Highs around 86. Degrees again. Winds are going to be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then a few clouds overnight with lows near 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And so there you have it. That's your five day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Brought to you today by Sunny Skies. Sunny Skies in the shining in the morning. Sunny Skies, and I don't know why. All them sunny skies there are shining in the morning, and they make your eyes run dry. Okay. What to do, what to do, what to do, do, do. I don't know. I don't know what to do. What stories to tell you. I've been walking and rolling all night long. I could tell you about the time I was out in Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, Chicago, Illinois. I've been out there once before. I took my boot camp out there years and years ago. And that was way back when I had good friends like uh, Craig uh, Wyant and uh, Donnie, uh, Donnie, uh, Donnie uh, Rhodes and Rich Morgan and all these folks I have known and learned to know throughout the ages. Um, anyway, these folks were friends of mine, and, well, we were in this little group of people called uh, Raisin Heads. And a Raisin Head just so happens to be a Navy sailor who is uh, in boot camp and just getting started. And, well, you've got to wear a stocking cap on your head, a black stocking cap, right after you get a good shaving. They shave off all your hair, leave them ears poked out big and wide, and then you got to roll this stocking cap up and put it on your head. And therefore, you are a raisin head. And then there you go. That's what a raisin head is, and that's what I was. But anyway, that wasn't the story I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you about the time that I did get to... Well, you know, back though, again, back at that point in time, when I was in the Navy, we did get Liberty Weekend one time. And I got one day of Liberty Weekend. Um, and that Liberty Weekend day, I went into a pool hall in Chicago. And there, I decided I was going to play a little pool. And, well, I cracked that there uh, pool cue up against them their pool balls. And the guy in the back came out. And uh, he was standing over by my dad, and he asked my dad if he knew who that guy was shooting pool. My dad said, well, that's my son. He says, well, he's good. And uh, the only reason I could accept that fellow's word for it was because his son was doing trick shots for the photographers in the color of money which was a tom cruise movie and well you know his son was a trick shot artist the one that done this the slippery slope you know the slippery slope shot i'm talking about the one where he uh at the where he kicks that um cue ball into the uh rail and shoots the uh gets the uh uh, uh, uh um eight ball all the way back down the other corner yep that's the one i'm talking about well this guy is the one that done that this guy's son and so therefore if he's that good and it's and he taught his son everything he knows i'll take his word for it i must have been good although i've got friends that tell me they taught me everything they knew only i knew how to play pool prior to so, so that's beside the point Anyway, prior to the military, the whole story I was going to tell in the first place was all about how I got stuck on a bus in Chicago. Well, all right, let's let me uh, 
get her all straightened out. From the beginning, I'm in my power wheelchair. This is a little bit older of a power wheelchair. The one that I'm in now and the last three that I've had have been mid-wheel drive, which means that there are two casters in the front and two casters in the rear, and the drive wheels are right in the middle. Well, this was my old power chair, my first one, and it had larger back wheels and uh, front casters up front. And so, therefore, it was a rear-wheel drive, pretty much. Well, I didn't like having that thing. I, ha I liked having it set up like a dragster because you could have it programmed in different ways for different uh, speeds. And it was a five-speed. And so, therefore, I had it set up to where I could drive very fast in fifth gear. And I didn't want my um, reaction to be very quick for a left turn, right turn. I didn't want to be going the total of the uh, eight miles per hour and then turn too fast and flip the chair over. So I had limited control on my steering. Well... I decided to go for a walk in Chicago because I was at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago. And when I got out of the building, I went headed towards the right down Lakeshore Drive. And I was headed down towards Navy Pier, which is where I thought I was going to go that day. But I chickened out, changed my mind. On my right hand side, there was a big fence and an imploded building. And uh, the imploded, imploded building, I imagine, used to be a parking garage because there were several slopes from the building going down into the street. Not uh, only that, there were several buses setting along the curb in front of that building, well, in front of that area. And so what I did do was ended up as I went past these slopes, my chair gradually, and I was going fairly slow, but my chair gradually drifted left until I ran into the bus. And now this was not a good place to be because these buses were running. And not only that, I was in the wheel well, the back wheel well. Bus driver didn't even look, didn't even look and see that I was stuck on the bus. But I could not get the wheelchair to back up or to control or to come take uh, any kind of directions. Well, here comes this feller on a bicycle. Every time I've ever been saved in a situation like that, I've had a bicycle angel. All my angels are on bicycles and they come to assist me when I'm having wheelchair trouble. So anyway, along comes this guy on a bicycle and says, hey, need some help? And I was like, Yes, I think I do. I have gotten stuck on this bus, and I can't get out, and the engine's running. And he said, well, okay, let me give you a hand. So we worked at it, and we wiggled, and we jiggled, and we finally got my chair off of that bus. And we got me back up on the sidewalk again. And lo and behold, I was doing great until I got down to the next curb cut thing. And as I was going along, I was gradually going downhill again. And I got stuck on another bus in Chicago the exact same way as the first bus. Well, luckily for me, my bicycle angel just went down to the end of the fence row. And he noticed and he knew that's what I ended up doing. So he turned around, left his bike there, turned around, come walking back up and said... Need some more help? I was like, yeah, sure, I appreciate it. So he got me up off of that in that bus. And then, lo and behold, on the third bus, I'm going down and again, boink. He said, well, let me just walk, walk along beside you this time. And so we made it past the third bus because he got uh, below the slope and was pushing the wheelchair up forwards while I went along. Which... Helped out quite a bit. <laughs> Kept me from going down the hill. And then what I said, I just don't understand it. I have no idea what's going on. 
Well, as soon as he got on his, he said, you think you got it now? Because I was on the level sidewalk. No more buses to worry about running into. And I said, yeah, I think I've got it now. I mean, it's level, so I shouldn't have any problems. Well, I looked down and I went to flip it into fifth gear so that I could boogie on down the sidewalk to get down to the corner. And when I looked down, lo and behold, I was already in fifth gear. So it was no wonder I kept creeping to the left and couldn't do anything about it. I kept trying to get my controller to go to the right and stay up on the hill, but it wasn't staying. Because, like I said, I had limited action for the lower gear, or for the higher gears. So had I just turned it off and turned it back on into first gear, then I would have been okay. But I didn't know any better at that point in time. It was new. It was new to me. Well, I'd only been in my wheelchair for about ooh, three months at that point in time, and I wasn't really, you know, oh, well, that particular wheelchair, as a matter of fact, wasn't even three week, uh, three months. It was about five weeks, <laughs> so maybe a month, which you would have thunked that I would have learned better by that length of time because I could drive anything from all along, but anyway, that's beside the point. That was what happened to me in Chicago the second time around. First time around, I went to boot camp in the Navy. Second time around, I went to rehab and got stuck on a bus in Chicago. Now, during my stay in the Navy, um, I got to watch a movie. Uh, or no, not in the Navy, but after I got out of the Navy, I got to watch a movie called Forrest Gump. And in that movie, Forrest Gump, there was a guy named Gary Sinise. And it just so happened that while I was in Chicago, Gary Sinise was in Chicago, and he was at his, um, at his, um, 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 theater. Which, I say his, him and a few other guys own the theater. And it's called the Fog Hat Theater in, um, Chicago, Illinois. I believe it's the Fog Hat which theater does Gary Sinise own in Illinois? Steppenwolf Theater Company. There you go. It's the Steppenwolf, not the Fog Hat. But anyway, we got to go to the Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago, Illinois. And we were watching a movie, or I mean a play, a it's not a movie theater. It is a playhouse. And so we went in there. Um, and lo and behold, there he was. And he helped us get ourselves settled in um, the theater. He helped move chairs and stuff like that. And we really ribbed up our, uh, our um, occupational therapist because she was just giddy is what she was just giddy about finding uh uh about Gary Sinise now I didn't recognize him at all you know so it didn't bother me talking to him so I was just talking to him like a regular Joe seeing as how he had helped us with the chairs I figured he was just a regular Joe and well he pretty much is a regular Joe I mean the only um the thing is about celebrities you know whenever you're looking at a celebrity and you think boy I tell you what I sure would I, I'm scared uh, petrified because I'm not Gary Sinise. And what would it be like to be Gary Sinise? Well, let's put it this way. Gary Sinise is Gary Sinise all day long. And so he's not impressed with who he is. He's him. And that's all there is to it. He's not impressed by it. And so, therefore, that would be like me meeting you or you meeting me. Well, I don't know. You meeting me might be a little hard for you. You might think that my notoriety and my... um and my uh, uh, stardom from this program has got me to be something that I'm not. I'm just regular old me. Otherwise, you would think, boy, I, 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 I'm kind of afraid to meet him because he's such a big star. Yeah, 
as they live. Okay, enough, enough, enough about all that cool stuff. Oh, you remember um, a book a few years ago that was called uh, The Six Steps from Kevin Bacon? Well, that was the thing. I was I was uh, zero steps from six degrees, six degrees from Kevin Bacon. Well, I was zero degrees from Gary Sinise, and I'm also zero degrees from uh, Kevin Bacon because I uh, got to go to a concert over here in St. Uh, well, I say St. Charles. It wasn't St. Charles. It was over there off of Page Avenue um, at the Playhouse at the uh, um, at the uh, Westport Playhouse, and I got to go over there and see uh, Kevin Bacon and his brother in concert. And uh, I don't think it was the Footloose concert because the Footloose uh, tour. But they always do that song even though um, it's not actually his song. It just was in the movie. Footloose, kick off your Sunday shoes. What you got to lose? Everybody, everybody now. Foot Lewis. Anyway, um, that song. He was there. And me being in the wheelchair, I got to get up way up front, right up front. And he uh, shook my hand afterwards. So there you go. I'm within a degree. I'm zero degrees between me and him. Zero degrees between me and Gary. And so... I know these celebrities and they know me. Well, I doubt that they remember me that much. Shania Twain, same way. Got a peck on the cheek from Shania Twain. Um, a whole bunch of other artists, music artists, because, well, had a girlfriend that was into country music. And, well, we, we used to just go to all kinds of concerts and stuff. And... Me being handicapped, I got to be right down on the front row. Plus uh, the fact that uh, you go over to the backsides where they're signing shirts and stuff. And they're always glad to shake your hand. And most of them are always glad to shake your hand because they're not too big in themselves. Some of them, there was a couple of country artists that were too big for themselves. But that was years and years and years ago. And I shouldn't hold the grudge against the gal. Um, but, and I won't mention her name because it's just not right. Shouldn't, I, that grudge is, I mean, that deal was a long, long time ago. It was a long, long time ago when everything was soft and slow. But I don't know what had to go the day the music died. And I said, bye-bye. No, we didn't. Anyway, uh, what was I? What was I getting ready to do? Was I going to sing a song for you? <laughs> well, let's sing a song for you. How about... Song lyrics theme song from Fat Albert. I said, <laughs> It's Fat Albert, and I'm going to sing a song for you. And Bill's going to show you a thing or two. You have some fun now with me and sing, and all the gang are leaving from each other, learning from each other what we do our thing. No, no, no. We're going to have a good time. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. We're going to have a good time. No, no, no. We're going to have a good time. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. We're going to have a good time. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert, and I'm going to sing a song for you. And Bill's going to teach you a thing or two. You'll have some fun now with me and all the gang. We're learning from each other while we do our thing. I said, na, 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 gonna have a good time. I said, na, 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 gonna have a good time. Na, 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 gonna have a good time. 
na 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 gonna have a good time <laughs> all right the third of us the anyway i think i'm yeah it's about time for me to do some story stuff or some more whatchamacallits for the kids poems i guess they're poems songs i think they're more like songs but hey Dundon Bridge and the Five Little Duck Nursery. The Five Little Ducks Nursery Rhyme? Which one is that? Because it's not one ducky, two ducky, three little, four. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. Uh, but only four little ducks uh, come back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away mother duck said quack 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 but only three little ducks come back three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away mother duck said quack 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 but only two little ducks come back well two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away mother duck said quack 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 but only one little duck come back. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks come back. Said mother duck went out one day over the hill and far away. And then, um, said mother duck said, quack, 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 and all of the five little ducks came back. Boom. Well, there you be. All the pretty horses. All the pretty horses. All the... Hush, if I don't you cry. Go to sleep. My little baby, uh, when you dream, you shall see all the pretty little horses. Uh, black and beige, and dapples and grays, all the pretty little horses. Hush, you bite, don't you cry, and go to sleep, my little baby. And they'll dance for you, the love is true, while you dream through the night. And their coats will shine, you'll surely, so surely divine. Pretty little horses surround you. Oh, hush a close your eyes, dream of horses in the meadow. And twirl in place with beauty and grace, and all the pretty little horses blacks and bays and dapples and grays all the pretty little horses hush a don't you cry go to sleep my little baby hush a and close your eyes go to sleep my little baby well there you go oh here's a good one here is a good one, 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 one. It's one of my favorites. A bob, bob, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. A one for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. A bob, bob, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. A one for the master, one for the name, one for the little girl who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. A one for the master, and one for the dame, and one for the old man who lives down the lane. A ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Some for my master, some for my future. 
the rest for sharing with the people on the lane. Okay, then. Oh, oh my goodness, look up above the sky. Way, way up there in my eye. I tell you, tell you, true de doo. This here is a cute little song for you. A twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. When the blazing sun is gone, when he's nothing shining upon, then you'll show your little light, twinkle, twinkle, all the night twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are then the traveler in the dark thank you for your tiny spark he could see not see which way to go if you did not twinkle so twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are in the dark blue sky you keep and often through my curtains peep for you never shut your eye till the sun is in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are all right all right. Oh, here we go. Here we, here we, here we go. Mm, dancing down the lane. Merrily, 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 merrily. That's not the same old thing. Here we go. Uh, what? Ten Humpty Dumpty. Why does it say ten? Ten Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. A one Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Nine Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. A one Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Eight Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. One Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Seven Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. One Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Six Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. One Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Five Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. A one Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Four Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. One Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Three Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. One Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men they couldn't put Humpty together again. Two Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Oh, one Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. A one Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. A one Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. No Humpty Dumpties sat on the wall, and no Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men didn't even put old Humpty together again.
All right. All right. An apple a day rhyme. We'll try that one. We'll try an apple a day. We'll keep the doctor away. Pretty sure. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple in the morning and a doctor's morning. A roast apples at night serves the doctor upright. Eat an apple, go to bed, and knock the doctor on the head. Uh, three each day, seven days a week. A rudy apple, apple, a rudy cheek. Okay. A ruddy apple and a ruddy cheek. All right. All right. And maybe that's the last one for this list. I will go to the next one and, and give it a twist. All right, that's uh, that's it for there. Okay, it looks like it's uh, time for our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And today's devotion in Our Daily Bread is Making Peace with Trouble. The Daily Bread's portion of the program today is being brought to us by The Bible with Briscoe 2020. The Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's readings in The Bible with Briscoe 2020 is going to be Ecclesiastes 7 through 9 and 2 Corinthians 13. So don't forget to tune in to The Bible with Briscoe 2020. All right, the daily bread portion, making peace with trouble. Now, John 16, 25 through 33, must be speaking of making peace with trouble. And so that's what we're going to read. Though I have seen... Let's start that over. John 16, 25 through 33. Though I have been speaking figuratively... And time is coming when I will no longer use this, this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about my Father. In that day you will ask in my name. I am not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf. No, the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Then Jesus' disciples said, Now you are speaking clearly and without figures of speech. Now we can see that you know all things, and that you do not even need to have anyone ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Do you, not, do you not believe? Jesus replied. A time is coming, and in fact has come, when you will be scattered. Each to your own home, you will leave me all alone. Yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have peace. trouble but take heart I have overcome the world and so there you have it John 16 25 through 33 and that concludes the daily bread portion of the program which was brought to you today by the Bible with Briscoe 2020 yes the Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year so do not forget to tune in to the Bible with Briscoe 2020. All right. Hey, friends, that does it for me and the Shin Show. And so, therefore, I'm going to have to say, oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. Whoa. I said goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here's Ben Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.